In this demo, I'm just going to quickly go through two Copilot features in Dynamics 365 customer service. We've got summarize conversation and suggest a response. Please subscribe to the channel so you can be notified of other videos posted on Dynamics Dojo. For this demo, I'll play the part of the customer and I'll also play the part of the agent. So if we look at this demo, customer service workspace, I'm going to open up this chat window and I can just start typing out um, any kind of conversation. I've got some predefined options I can select from, so let's go for one of those. I'll click Smart Brew 2500 and see what the bot comes back with. I'll select Water Flow and you can see the bot comes back with a response there. I don't find that very helpful, so it's asking me if I want anything else, and I'll say yes. It gives me some options to choose from, but I don't want those, so I'm just going to type in talk to an agent. At this point, the bot's going to try and transfer me to a live agent, and here you can see I can accept or reject. So I'll accept that, and then the conversation is going to load. So as an agent in customer service workspace, on the left-hand side, in the communication panel, I can now see the chat history and the latest thing I can see is it's been transferred by the bot. If I click on the co-pilot icon I get two options suggest a response or summarize conversation. So when I click summarize conversation I'll get a nice conversation summary so I don't have to trawl through the history. That's going to save me lots of time. Now that I understand what the conversation is about I can either generate my own response by typing it in or here we're going to let Copilot suggest a response for us. Copilot has generated a response, but as there wasn't much context to go on, uh, we haven't got much back. So let's set something up and try it again. So now we can see Copilot has produced a much better response. So I'm going to click send to customer and that's going to put it back into the customer chat. As the customer, I'm just going to say, yes, that's fine. And as the agent, I'm going to suggest a response again from Copilot. This time Copilot suggested a really good set of troubleshooting steps. So I'm going to click send to customer and that's going to put it back into the customer chat. I can also give this feedback by giving it a thumbs up or thumbs down. I can also edit the response before sending it to the customer as well. Also, just want to point out that there is a customer sentiment captured within the communication panel. Here you can see it starts off with positive and anytime a customer types in anything negative, then that positive sentiment changes, which is a nice little feature. Once I click end on the conversation, Copilot will automatically give me a conversation summary. And that's a really nice feature. From there, I can either copy the conversation summary or I can create a case. Then on the right hand side, I get a new case window. Some of the fields will be automatically populated. Most notably, the conversation summary is going to be automatically copied to the description field of the new case. So as you can see from this demonstration, Using Copilot to summarize chat conversations and suggest responses is a really fantastic way of interacting with users and for users to interact with agents. You can clearly see how this is going to improve customer satisfaction and agents' troubleshooting problems. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a like. Please subscribe to the channel so you can be notified of other videos posted on Dynamics Dojo. If you want to see other Power Platform and Dynamics 365 features demonstrated, leave a comment in the description. Until next time, thanks for watching.